Oh, Ubisoft. Blech. Ubisoft is banning user-created content in Assassin's Creed Odyssey that allows players to skip the microtransact- wait, sorry, I don't mean that- that allows users to diminish the quality of the game by earning XP for doing nothing. This most assuredly has nothing to do with the fact that Ubisoft sells XP boosters as part of its extensive and comprehensive array of microtransaction offerings. Last month, Ubisoft released a story creator tool for Assassin's Creed Odyssey allowing users to make their own quests. It should come as no surprise in the least that some of the quests made were ones that racked up XP quick. This is a standard part of user-generated content. I mean, just look at some of those Super Mario Maker levels that play themselves, or stick the finish line right near the start for a goof. Just look at mods for Bethesda games and a whole bunch of other RPGs that give you extra experience or free levels or a whole bunch of gold. I mean, just look at any user creator tools put into a video game and you will find things like this. It's one of the easiest, earliest, most obvious things people do. It's a completely expected part of the experience, a part of the tool set. It's what people are always gonna do. When you give the power to create content to the users, you're not always gonna get intricately detailed, layered storylines and quests. Although to be fair, some of the self-playing Mario Maker levels are pretty damn intricate. But the point is, user-generated content will lead to some of that content being an easy score. And most of the time, it's not a problem. The publishers don't really care. But Ubisoft has a real problem with these user-generated quests that give you free XP, such as ones that spawn powerful NPCs that can instantly kill enemies and rack up experience for the player. According to Ubisoft, this damages the integrity of the game, which is quite funny when you do remember that they sell XP boosters that allow players to rapidly skip the grind anyway. Why isn't that damaging to the integrity of the game? It seems more likely that these custom quests damage the integrity of Ubisoft's storefront, but let's hear them out. These exploits, fuck off, these exploits risk jeopardizing the overall quality, integrity, and purpose of story creator mode and results in less visibility for the creative, interesting, and frankly fantastic community stories that have been published. Story creator mode was designed to be a tool for players to let their creativity and imagination run free as they build their very own stories to share with others. We want to focus on rewarding creativity by highlighting quality quests. I mean, you could highlight them. They don't have to be buried by the free XP things, do they? Ubisoft, like any mainstream publisher, controls every tiny little aspect of the game. They could lift up and feature the best quests without them coming at the expense of the existence of what Ubisoft somewhat dishonestly calls exploits. They're not exploits. They're not breaking the game to cheat in any way. They're not running a grift, Ubisoft. You released a creator tool. Easy XP gains is an expected part of user-created tools. It's one of the first things you would see people doing. And if Ubisoft thought they wouldn't, then Ubisoft's fucking stupid, isn't it? Also, Ubisoft, you don't get to use the word exploit. No, friggin' company that infests its games with predatory microtransactions gets to accuse anyone else of exploitation. Going forward, Ubisoft is now making XP farming quests a violation of the story creator tool's terms of service. Ubisoft says it will be sanctioning those who continue to willfully and intentionally misuse the tool. Yeah, Ubisoft, you're a misused tool. Now, Ubisoft can be a deflective, spineless little worm in this case and pretend this isn't about money and fail to mention the fact that it sells XP boosts, which I guess in their eyes are totally not exploits that diminish the integrity of the game. But make no mistake, this is bloody clearly what it's about. If Ubisoft cared enough about easy experience gains ruining the quality of the game, they wouldn't literally sell easy experience gains to their customers. XP boosters are just part of the massive number of microtransactions that Assassin's Creed Odyssey offers. All of them gauche, all of them tacky, all all of them fairly exploitative in their own way, whether they're cosmetic or not, because as I've explained laboriously in many videos now, microtransactions are inherently designed to be psychologically manipulative. Whether they're just cosmetic or not, they are designed explicitly to prey on certain vulnerable people, many of whom the game industry dehumanizes by referring to them as whales. Simply put, I do not believe Ubisoft. I do not believe that they have only the best intentions for players in 
mind when they're banning quests that allow users to rack up XP. When Assassin's Creed Odyssey first came out, I slammed it for its greed-fueled microtransactions. And some people pushed back on that, they didn't think Odyssey was as avaricious as I thought it was. But I still think it is, I still think that when you go on that storefront and see how much content has been sectioned off for it, it's quite shocking. When you consider it comes on top of half a dozen special editions, season pass bollocks, tie-ins with fucking pizza rolls. One has to stop and ask at some point, when is enough enough for Ubisoft? And the answer seems to be, never. Ubisoft can right royally piss off in trying to portray what happened as an exploitation of their tools. This is about money, plain and simple. And just to hammer that home, shall I read to you how Ubisoft described the XP boosters when it was defending them way back when? Yes, I shall. Time savers such as the permanent XP boost are 100% optional for players who want to supercharge their progression and were not considered in any of the economy or difficulty balancing of the game. Okay, but... That's what these user-generated XP farming quests were doing, weren't they? They were also supercharging progression. They were also saving time. They were just doing it far more efficiently and cheaply than you were, Ubisoft. They were offering the exact same service as you, the exact same optional service. They were simply undercutting your sales by doing it for free and doing it more directly. You fucking hypocrites. Basically, it's okay to offer time saving if the publisher is the one doing it while also charging for it. The rest of what they said in that quote was guff. In-game economies and progression are always designed with microtransactions in mind if the microtransactions are in there. They have to be. One always impacts the other. You cannot consider one without considering the other. Ubisoft is straight up lying there, which is unsurprising because Ubisoft lies pretty regularly. And with that in mind, as I've said before, as I've very successfully argued before, no microtransaction in a video game is optional. You can't choose to not have them in there in the first place, and since they do always impact the design of a game, because games overall have gotten grindier and less fun to make microtransactions more appealing, they're an obligatory consideration for any player, whether or not that player actually buys any. Because the psychological tricks are always there, the reminder that the microtransactions exist are always there, the chipping away at player patience is always there, and the publishers know it, they know what they're doing, they plead ignorance about what they're doing, but really they're just showing what they think about you. They think you're ignorant. They think you'll be stupid enough to believe them. And that's what Ubisoft is doing right here with the banning of these XP farming quests. They think you will be stupid enough to believe that this isn't about them worried their sales of time savers will be undercut by other time savers that don't charge. Let's call what Ubisoft is doing what it is. They're not banning exploits. They're not preserving the integrity of the game. They're killing off their their competition. That is exactly what this is.